It's Nick Shell. We're gonna check out the comments that we've got here. I'm always excited. And, and, you know, people say, well, how do you, uh, oh, and I just someone yesterday, someone said, how do you talk about hair loss every day more than once? I was like, well, if nothing else, people leave comments and it keeps the conversation interesting. So I made a video this week. It was called, are bald men actually happier than men with hair? So I got two comments here on this one. I'm going to just do uh, one video for this and then do a follow-up one because they're, they're two diverse, uh, two different things. That, but let's start with the first one. And Walter uh, sent this in. Walter's been with me a long time. Um, so thanks, Walter, for, uh, for, for being a long-time uh, subscriber. I'm assuming you subscribe because you, you uh, have been watching me so long. But here's what Walter had to say on my video. Are bald men actually happier than men with hair? Uh, he says, quote, here's the thing with younger guys going bald. Many of them embrace it by shaving their head, growing a beard, working out, and basically taking care of themselves better to perhaps compensate for no hair. They are usually still confident and successful. I see these guys and think, sure, looking after themselves, they would be perfect if only they weren't bald. Why can't non-balding guys take the same steps, work out and grow beards? Some do. Then they can match these confident baldies and get one better and go one better with nice hair. Not that having hair makes that much difference, but it's definitely some small improvement usually. But you're probably right after all. They have accepted and moved on from worrying about hair and work on things they can control and improve about themselves. But if only non-balding guys would have the same motivation to self-improve and not only do so to compensate for balding. So that is uh, a long comment, but I'm glad he said every word of it. It's, it's definitely... Uh, he, he makes a great point. Here's, here's my favorite part about this comment. Is he names specific ways how people, how men who have gone bald, especially early, what they do to compensate for going bald. And uh, I guess I've, I've been subconsciously aware of it, but specifically he talks about obviously shaving their heads, which is something I personally endorse for myself, for my own future. Growing a beard, that's something we know about. We've talked before about how uh, there seems to be a connection between men who are more likely to go bald are also the ones who are more likely to grow a thicker beard. Uh, and then he talks about working out. Uh, obviously, you know me, I don't work out in a gym, but I'm always walking. I mountain bike. I, uh, I do my working out outside. I run. Uh, so, but it, I think he does make a good point that, you know, I, I think back to the concept of, you know, if you have to get a huge pickup truck, then you're compensating for something. We all are familiar with that idea. But this is completely different, and I don't think it has that negative connotation at all. It's actually, I think, a positive thing. It's like, hey, if, if a guy's losing his hair and he's, and he's young, and he's like, okay, well, I'm, I've accepted my fate. I'm not a guy who's going to have hair into my 30s or 40s. Okay, well, what else can I do? And so I like these things he's mentioned. I mean, they're all masculine things. That's what's great about this. We've, so they're growing beards. They're shaving their head. Both very masculine things women don't do, typically. Or would want to typically, and then of course also working out. I mean, those are things that are obviously uh, uh, self improvement. Uh, beards are cool, shaved heads are cool, and if nothing else, even if you say, "Well, I don't look good with the beard," or "I don't look good with shaved head," still working out though, uh, that's going to make you. That, to me, how would those things not uh, be better? To me, those things. To me, it's a given. It's a given that I don't know if those birds are fighting or mating, but um, to me, that's a, a, a given. If you if, wouldn't, we all agree that if you had the choice, seriously, I don't know what those birds are doing. But if you had the choice, wouldn't you rather? That's a good question. I'm asking myself this right now. If I worked out had a beard and shaved my head. Would I prefer that over simply just not going well? I mean, to me, clearly, for, but for me, it's not just about looks. It's about masculinity. I think, I think something that by making these videos, I learn about myself is that I have a lot, I find a lot of value in masculinity. And that's something I want to identify with. 
And so that's why ultimately me embracing baldness and saying, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to shave it off anyway, because it's another way to identi easily identify with, uh, with masculinity. So those are my thoughts on this comment. Walter, thank you. Thank you for supporting me this whole time. And uh, thank you for this comment. You, you backed up what I said and you kind of, uh, you enhanced it, I feel. So thank you for that. Uh, the next video, we'll talk about the other comment on here, which goes in a different direction, but still definitely uh, we need to talk about it. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Shell.